Hi, welcome to Monday Castings. Today I'm going to explain how to go about preparing a commercial casting. Before I even do that, I want to mention a wonderful booker whose name is Guillem at Salvador Models from Madrid, who has put up a video on how to do a self tape, and I will put the link down below. And he explains the specifics of what you need and how to go about doing it when you film at home. So I'll have that link down below. I am going to talk from the perspective of a commercial model, how I prepare my castings. Um, what to do, what not to do, what to wear, what not to wear, and how you should get ready for the next day, the casting day. So without further ado, let's get started. What do you need to do a self-tape? What do you need to be able to get yourself out there as a model or to be picked up by an agency or to get a job and actually do the casting? I would start by saying, don't go out and buy a lot of expensive equipment. You can actually use your cell phone, which I'm using, it's a Samsung Galaxy A50, and a microphone. Then if you have a PC or a laptop, you can edit what you've filmed and it can be perfect material in order to start out. So what you're going to need are four or five photographs of yourself. Not videos, but photos, just to start with. You're going to have to do a headshot, which would be basically what I'm doing, even a little closer, something like this. Uh, a, a profile picture should be taken at the same angle, more or less, the, you know, the headshot angle. Profile on the other side. You should do a three quarters on both sides, showing your profile. And then a full body, a full body shot, which I'll do right now. So I'm getting right up against the wall here in order to be able to do a full body shot. And as you can see, it's not exactly a full body shot yet. And I've also brought into the picture what I'm doing and what's going on here. The wires going into the window and the whole shebang. So this is a little bit uh, trickier in order to get done well. And also as I have my microphone hooked up to my shirt, I'm not gonna be able to do a full turn. But you do your full turn in a video, after you take the photo, you do your full turn and you show the client what you look like in that way. So, on to the next. What to wear in your photos. Don't wear loud clothing. Not a good idea to wear patterns. The colors that you might want to choose from, depending on your skin tone, would be like this one, greens, uh, if you like pastel colors, you can do pastel, light blues, sometimes a black and white work really well, white, browns, and also other things to consider are not to wear clothing that is really tight. That's not the type of material that clients are looking for, especially in commercial modeling. So you want to look simple, clean, plain, and the, the makeup is natural don't overdo it on makeup talking about hair let's look at my hair i mean this is a covid a covid style i need my the ends trimmed in a bad way and i would you know if i had to do it with my hair down now i'd just push my hair in the back or i could just put it into a ponytail and i'll do that right now a low ponytail or a high ponytail i look really a lot a lot older i think with a ponytail i look a little more severe but you know hey it's important to be natural and show yourself the way you are so here I'm wearing a dress that I appeared in in the movie the bookstore by Isabel Coichette and I have a very small non-speaking role and appear in the very last scene all by myself and I won't say anything else not to have a spoiler out there for y'all um, but I ended up buying it from the, the wardrobe lady uh, which many cases they will let you buy uh, uh, an article of clothing that they've used so you have nothing to lose by asking so yeah this is the this is another option this would be like very casual uh, I wouldn't say sportswear but it's a casual at home look I do like to put on bright colors because my skin is so white I like to have that contrast a little bit and I think it looks a little bit cleaner and more interesting. 
So I can't stress enough how important it is to choose your clothing the night before you actually have the casting, including ironing uh, maybe a couple options. Don't leave anything for the last minute because you're going to have enough to think about uh, with the casting itself, with your makeup and whatnot. Oh, another thing to keep in mind are your hands. You're going to have to show your hands. Make sure that you've got you know clean nails. Don't chew gum ever. That's a complete no-no. Wrinkly clothes are not going to help at all. Wrinkly face? Now that's another thing. You can't really do much about that. <laughs> Wrinkles are beautiful. Embrace your beauty. Let's talk about jewelry. You don't want to be overladen with jewelry because they're going to ask you to take it off anyway. Right now I'm wearing just this simple little bear that was designed by my daughter, Gala, and who my younger daughter, Connie, and I also wear, the three of us wear this little bear because we call each other baby bears. So that keeps us very close and very important, especially in these lockdown times. So, like I say, I'm not wearing, you can wear little posts, which right now I don't even have any that I would want to put on, but um, what you don't want to wear this, ladies and gentlemen, how not to go accessorized. I got huge loops on, I got too many rings on, and even though this bracelet is really cool and dear to my heart, I'm not going to wear it. This is going to be it for today's uh, Monday castings. Next week I'm, I'll be doing a video showing you my my own wardrobe and instead of making the, the clothes changes myself, I can whip through a lot of different clothing and say this, is, this would be good for whatever and that will be the gist of, uh, of next Monday's casting video. I hope you like what I have to offer. Um, I'm on a huge learning curve right here, the baby boomer learning curve on how to do uh, photography and videos and I hope you hang with me on this and any comments are more than welcome even constructive criticism just hit the like button and subscribe so long ranchers